Imagine the horror in the middle of the night in stormy seas. Women and children among men in a wooden boat that breaks into pieces after hitting rocks. Rescuers desperately try to retrieve anything from the wreckage, struggling to reach bodies with bad weather also hampering the search. What remained of the boat was still being pummeled by waves off the coast of Calabria in southern Italy. Debris was scattered over a wide area. The voyage began in the Turkish port of Izmir a few days ago with about 200 people crowding onto the small vessel. More than 80 survived and waited quietly on the grass. Most were rescued, but some managed to reach the shore after clinging to pieces of the boat. The migrants are from several countries, including Afghanistan, Iran and Pakistan. One of the survivors is a 12-year-old boy from Afghanistan who lost his entire family, including four siblings. A Turkish citizen who made it ashore has been arrested on suspicion of people trafficking. Rescue operations have been ongoing. Earlier, a policeman pulled the body of a two-year-old child out of the water. Since the start of this year, 12,000 migrants have arrived in Italy by boat, twice as many as last January and February. The new right-wing government has recently imposed tough new laws on charities rescuing people. They've risked everything to search for a better life, but now they face an uncertain future. Nick Dole, ABC News.